random spark tooth company you see and you've seen. Today we are going to be putting on this Max Lighter front bumper kit uh, with some of the box lights that go up with each lights and some of the bumper um, on this 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. So step one is to remove the uh, skid plate as well as the bumper, just a couple of plastic pop tabs and a couple of bolts. It's a fairly straightforward process. You will want to get someone to come and give you a hand to lift this thing off. It's fairly heavy. Just make sure the wires are unplugged first. The next step is removing all the components that you're going to reuse from the factory bumper, including some of the wiring, a couple of the brackets, and the park sensors. They're fairly easy to get out. Just take your time and be methodical. And if nothing else, look back over the Max Lighter YouTube video, and it details how to remove those. The next step I took was to start relocating the adaptive cruise sensor. Uh, the Max Lighter bumper has an opening suitable to mount the sensor so that it is still usable. The first step of that is to remove the active shutters and remove the sensor from that, and then it will get relocated to the new bumper. One step in this process is to reconfigure the factory harness to allow for the wires to reach to the new location for the adaptive cruise sensor. Once you've got the wiring done, you can go ahead and mount the cruise sensor into its new location. Next up, I break out the parts table to try and get organized with all the stuff that's gonna go along with this bumper. There's quite a bit of hardware, multiple lights, and other brackets and wiring and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get it all laid out nice and neat so we can get an idea of what we've got what we've used, what we haven't, and just stay generally organized with this process. One thing I had to do with the cruise control sensor is trim the tabs off of it so that it could be used with the brackets included with the Max Lighter kit and mount into that square opening that you see there. I will come back and paint this in just a bit to make it match more closely to the rest of the bumper. After undoing the factory tape on the wiring harness for the sensor, uh, I decided to go back and rewrap it with some cloth tape just to keep that factory OEM look and as well as obviously protecting the wiring. So once you got that harness prepped, you can reinstall the wiring to the shutter assembly and that can go back on the truck. Next, I'm going to start prepping the brackets. You do have to trim a little material off of these. The Max Lighter videos go over kind of how to do this, but it makes sure that the lights that you see here, the four little pods, do fit nicely. Um, I did scuff up the sensor, like I said, and shoot some paint on there just to kind of make it match to the rest of the bumper. Next, we go to assemble the four uh, pod lights that go in the bumper. These will run off of the factory wiring. It's a neat little modular system. They kind of bolt together and you get two lights with one plug. And then I will convert here shortly the factory plugs to match the Dutch connectors on these pod lights. Now going to install these, I made the mistake of not completely watching the Max Lighter video and try to install the bracket with the pods installed because that seemed like the most logical thing to do. Uh, I can assure you it was not. So on the other side, I learned my lesson and actually did it in a way that took a lot less time. It was a lot less frustrating. So there you go. Lesson learned there. So here is where I became very impressed with the quality of the Max Lighter bumper. All these holes where we mount up the brush guard portion, every single hole lined up perfectly. So kudos to the team up at Max Lighter for making such a high quality product. Thanks for making this easy. Next, you'll want to get somebody to help you fit the bumper to the truck. Um, this thing weighs about 120 pounds, so it's worth having somebody come and help you and then stand and watch you for a few minutes. The next part is just kind of nuts and bolts, getting everything bolted into place and aligned properly. Um, trying to get the skid plate on as well. And I used, ended up using a 2x4 essentially to just kind of level out the bumper and keep everything in place so I could get everything tightened up and adjusted as necessary. My next step was to start prepping the wiring for the new pods. I wanted to reuse as much of the factory wiring as possible, so I'm depinning the factory connections. I'm going to cut those connectors off and crimp on some Dutch style connectors, and those will plug directly into the new pod lights that go into the bumpers. So just a couple of quick crimps, 
and assemble these things and now you've got some very OEM looking OEM quality kind of connections without any weird splicing or anything like that. And so don't forget to use your dielectric grease, plug everything in, and then it's time to give a quick test just to make sure that everything's working like it's supposed to. So far, so good. Just making sure I've got everything run in the correct way. Next, it's time to fit the winch into its new home. So fairly easy process. There's a little plate you have to remove from underneath the, the new bumper. The wiring on it is fairly straightforward. You just run a giant power and ground cable, set the winch in place. There's four bolts that hold it from underneath and you kind of snug everything in and it just fits right in there. Definitely want to do this after you've installed the bumper on the truck. And as I mentioned, just routing the battery cables over to the driver's side to get the power and ground. And then the controls just plug in with a uh, handheld remote that you can use whenever you need to actually use the winch. And that's about it. So there you have it, one complete bumper install for a brand new Ford Bronco Raptor. Got that Max Slider steel bumper on there with the new pod lights from the brush guard and the winch. And we also threw on some ditch lights up by the windshield just for added effect. And now this thing is ready for the trails.